Okay, so here is the uh, breakdown video. Um, thank you everybody who watched the video, uh, liked it, commented, um, really, really appreciate it. Um, so I'm gonna go through the video, or I'm gonna go through the, the scene and show you everything that I did. Everything that I learned is from William Foucher, so uh, if you haven't already, watch all his videos, you need to. Um, and anything that I missed or that I could improve upon, you know, just put it in the comments, let me know. Um, and definitely reach out uh, if you'd like to collaborate um, in terms of, you know, visual effects artists, um, you know, uh, character artists, UE generalists, everybody, anything that's unreal and uh, you know better than me, uh, you know, reach out. I would definitely love to hear from you and, and you know, even just talk um, unreal. Okay, so here is, uh, I got like a little master sequence going on here. Um, I usually just do all my editing in a master sequence first. Um, I don't render everything out of the master sequence because some weird stuff happens, but um, this is just the master sequence. So there's that, so let's get out of here and let's look at the scene. And this is what the scene looks like. It's this easy, literally, this easy. Oh, I lost myself. Um, so there's not too much to show, like I said, or like I keep repeating, everything you can learn from William Foucher, okay? Um, so let's just go through the scene a little bit. Um, I will, well, let's talk about the meshes first. Um, this mesh here I got from CG Trader. I did not make this, this, this skull, unfortunately. I'm not that good. Um, but everything else I, I, I um, I modeled myself, so like this little scanner thing here, and this little, I guess it's like a bay, whatever it is, okay? So there's that. Um, oh, but then I also did texture everything. Everything was textured for me. Now I did everything in the Substance Painter and that's it, okay? Uh, other than that, let's go to, let's take off the mesh here and let's talk about the lighting. Um, so really what it is, is, can we take this off? Of course it does that and it does something weird. Um, so let's go like this. Why is it doing that? See, I don't know everything with, uh, Unreal. Okay. So anyways, oh, I know why. Okay. So there, the majority, the main thing that is going on with this stuff here is I, I okay, so I started off with the environment light mixer and you can learn how to use that with uh, from William Foucher so I'm not going to go into that um, but the main key thing that I'm doing here is the my this here so I'm gonna copy and paste this because I don't know what the, the number is oh, it's probably just this just 2.5 and then let's bring this down and then this here is five so bring that so now we can start to see the clouds a little bit more and then We'll go to the exponential height fog, put that to normal. And that's really the main thing about the, the softbox here that I did, right? Um, so just to go backwards or to go forwards, whatever it is, put that back up to that and then go to the sky atmosphere, go to the my. This was 2.5 and then this was five. And that's it. That's what gave me my scene color. Okay, so let's take this off for a second. Okay, and we'll put the mesh back in. So this is the scene as is with the environment. Okay, very simple. And the main thing is that I just wanted to have everything um, soft lighting because the scene needed to look like you're in like some sort of science lab or something like that right everything is very evenly lit in a science lab so that's what I that's why I got like a softbox environment okay um, but it of course needed some sort of highlight feature okay or highlight lighting right so that's why I added the um, let's just turn those on the uh, the rec light and there it is 
and that all that does is just well it adds some really nice lighting so you can see the nice shadows there and then it also adds this really nice highlight there and that's it literally it okay that's the scene done okay um is there anything else in terms of the scene that i need to talk to you about i think that is it um Oh yes, okay, so then there's also um, some settings, I guess, uh, everything you can learn from William Foucher, but I don't even think it, it really even, like there's this one here, support sky that you need to turn on, but it doesn't really apply with my scene um, because I'm not doing, I'm not, if you look at my, whoops, if you look at my, where is it? Um, this here. I don't have it set to black or anything like that, right? So it doesn't really apply to my scene. Uh, what else? There's also this that I cranked up, final gather. I cranked that up, it's normally at one, I put it to five. Um, I don't know if it really does anything. It says that it improves noise. Um, so that sounds good to me. Um, and then other than that, let's look at this here. There's bloom. Put it to convolution then the halation here this is something that i learned from alec tucker i'll put the link in the description so let's turn this on and if we go to here so all this is doing if you look here it's adding like this lens defect and that's it that's all it's doing and this is actually a bad thing for lenses but um, it helps with the realism okay um, other than that, in terms of effects, I added some camera shake, which you can learn from William Foucher. Um, you know, he talks all about camera shake and I do real, 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 real subtle camera shakes. Okay. On the, on the camera. Um, I can actually just maybe, I think it's in here, camera shake. I'll just open up one of the, uh, thing here so you can you know screenshot that and look at my settings you know there's that one what else let's take a look at this one there's the settings okay um because yeah everything you can learn from william foucher um so there's that uh what else i think that's it for the scene now let's look at the camera okay so main thing about when you're making movies, the main thing about making movies is really just the camera. That's like one of the most important things is how you frame everything, right? So if you look at this scene, it's a very simple scene. It's nothing spectacular. However, you frame it the right way, it looks badass, right? I mean, like, look at that. That looks pretty darn badass, right? So um, the camera is really doing most of the work. Now, in terms of how you learn that, it's a whole other career um it's a whole other video at least um to go into how you frame everything um which i mean i guess i could do another video on that but you really need to learn photography in order to learn how, how to do proper framing and all that stuff but you know in this video i will give you some quick tips um so in terms of this how i set up my camera like the settings um I just turned this to 3615, which is, you know, copied from Will and then also Alec Tucker. I hope I'm saying his name right. Um, then everything else, you know, I leave. Universal Zoom, of course, you know, all this stuff, like why do you need to change that? Um, the focus settings, you know, you can, you know, use, look at Unreal documentation on how to use that. It's very simple. You turn it on and that's it. Um, then the yeah the, the the focal length so these are the main things main focal lengths that you really want to work with is 18 24 35 50 85 135 anything outside of there is you really shouldn't be using because there's really no other uh, focal lengths with lenses i mean there are some weird specialty ones like um uh you know there's a 40 out there there's a 20 out there um, there might be some weird weird ones like 60s and stuff like that, but you they're not really used um, 
and then there's the zoom lenses which you can go in between but I mean you don't those are it, 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 that's irrelevant right the main ones that you want to use are those ones that I just said right um, so if you want to generally as a rule of thumb there are ways to break these rules of course right I mean rules are always meant to be broken but if you want to make something look powerful use an 85 and up right use something 85 you could use a 50 as well you could do the same thing and, and, and make something look powerful and use a 50 or even a 35 or a 24 but generally you want to use like a telephoto lens you want that compression um, compression is not something I'm going to get into for this video but you want to use you want to get that compression um, to make everything look powerful right um, so that's that's what's doing that uh, I just put it on 85 uh, but experiment with the different focal lengths that I said earlier um, because they will help right so 85 is for something for example 85 is for something powerful to make something look powerful or like a face right and if you want to look, want something to look, to look kind of goofy or um, very stylized use a 24 or an 18 and 18 is very wide um, okay and that's pretty much what I'll say about that for camera settings and then other than that um, I think that is pretty much it. I don't know what else to tell you in terms of the um, breakdown because there's not much. There's the softbox environment that I created, which I already showed you. Um, this here is just in a regular emissive. Okay. Um, the most simplest thing ever. It's not even an instance. Um, we can look at the materials, I guess. The most simplest materials ever, <laughs> you know. Um, I don't even know if I have this set up correctly. I just Googled it. So, I mean, if I'm not using the packed texture properly, you know, please let me know. Um, what else? Yeah, just the most simplest textures ever. We can look at another texture here. This is, uh, you know, just another one. Um, the most simplest things ever. Um, we can take a look, closer look at the textures if you want. You know, you can do your pixel peeping. Okay, you can look at this one. This is just like a noise texture that I put in the, um, uh, what's it called? And substance painter and there's this which is actually quite a terrible texture but eh, it worked um, same here this was unfinished here doesn't even go with the, uh, the 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 turn here pretty terrible um, yeah and that's that's pretty much it um, this here is a mistake there's a um, mesh uh, missing but I thought it kind of looked cool so I left it um, and you can, you can barely even see it anyways it doesn't matter yeah you can't even see it so it doesn't even matter um, yeah other than that I don't think that there's anything else to talk about uh, very yeah I went over the halation textures the environment that is it. There's the sequence stuff that I did, but um, sequencer is another subject entirely. That's it. Okay, so um, yeah, that's that's all there is to it for this scene. Um, it was one of my very first scenes that I put together that I was actually intending to release um, as a test only, and um, yeah, like I'm sorry that there's not too much really to tell you. Cause it's a very simple scene and like I said everything was just the way how I framed the uh, the, the the camera and the composition everything was that was key how I did that um, so yeah like I said before um, if you have any uh, tips and tricks or comments and something that I should do better or, or that I was doing wrong then you know let me know um, I'm always uh, eager to learn more about unreal because this is an awesome awesome program all right so uh, that's it thank you very much take care